this is just an update on the last um, FM8 synth I made. Um, I've added some more features to it, so I'm just going to take you through those features and how to use them. If you want to know more about the synth, just look at the previous video. Um, so again, uh, boot up the synth, uh, da -da, and then you'll see on this version we've got a few extra buttons down here. We can save and load presets, and it responds to MIDI as ever. Uh, so what I've done is I've actually set up Logic to trigger the um, trigger the synth. So to get that to work, you actually need to enable something called the IAC but driver bus, which means Logic will send MIDI to a uh, to Cubase and also there's a, a little bit of an idiosyncrasy that you need to sort out. So if you go to Windows and go to your environment and go to clicks and ports. For some reason when this is connected, when you send MIDI to Logic, not Logic to um, Cubase, not Cubase even, but these two new programs, to Super Collider, <coughs> it causes a MIDI feedback loop and it just goes meh. So I don't know, just take it out and it works. So if I go back to my Super Collider now, let's turn this up. And let's just try this, make sure it's working. So you see it's working. So now um, Logic will, will trigger um will trigger uh, a super collider. Uh, now these preset buttons are relatively useful because you can store a bunch of presets and recall them. And you can also recall the presets using MIDI notes and you can get it to morph between presets by <coughs> this number. So if I put it on zero <coughs> I'm just going to hit save, so I'll just save this preset, it's a bit of a shit preset, it's just a sine wave in it, uh, then we'll hit there, we'll hit save on there, and then we can recall them like that, and that, boom, boom, uh, okay, so let's make them a bit more interesting, like this one, do this, it's got a, a, I don't actually have a, um, a keyboard plug in, so I'm just going to get a loop and set up in Logic, so I've got something to... Uh, to trigger, so let's just make a little minor arpeggio. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's make it a bomb. Okay, lovely, some cheesy melody. Okay, so that's that one there, and then what's the second one? That's the second one. Okay, let's uh, so this one, let's make this one different. Let's save this and then let's uh, save it to here. Go on this one, let's make this one have a bit of feedback on it. And if that will work. Okay, let's hit save on that one. And let's make this one have. Let's put this uh, save on that one. Okay, and let's make that one do this. Okay, that's interesting. Let's make it do some other stuff. Get a bit more cranky now. And then let's see what happens if we uh, make one change the FM ratios on one. Not 0.5. Let's just go through them all. Set the morph time to 2. And we can do really cool things like do some spatialization, get up the different oscillators, pan them left and right make some cool little textures and some panning so you can start introducing stereo width etc and then of course you can save a whole bunch of presets which is useful because if you make something you like you kind of want to save it just call it twang or as you put it but put it wherever you want i don't know Death document is a good place to put some presets isn't it there we go twang save and the other thing you can do as i mentioned you can use midi notes to well, did i mention this Maybe I didn't actually. You can use MIDI notes to to recall your presets. So it's a little the the interface won't update too well with this, but it will recall the presets. So as you do this, it will recall the presets in your thing. So you can use the MIDI notes to re recall your presets, and 
Uh, where are we? Again, uh, there we are. Oh, it's that one every day. Like, did I shut the window? That was stupid of me, wasn't it? Yeah, I must have done. Oh well, I've shut it now. That's utterly ridiculous. Um, anyway, you get the idea. Uh, have fun.